Hey guys, it's Kieran from Server Pro, and today I have something quite exciting to show you. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use this plugin called Sheep on your Minecraft Pocket Edition server so that you can install plugins and uninstall plugins from the console very, very easily. So for those of you that have iPads or iPhones or other mobile devices, it can be a bit difficult or frustrating for you to install plugins as you may not have access to a computer or something with an easy to use file manager. So this solves that. So it allows you to install plugins and uninstall plugins directly from the console with just commands. It's very easy to use and it's fantastic. So to get started, you will need to install this plugin yourself first. Now there are a few ways that you can install plugins on our control panel. You need to go to the file manager, then go to the plugins folder and make sure that you're running pocket mine already and then click upload file in the top right. Now you can select the file from your computer or you can enter the URL. In this case, I'm just going to right click, direct download, copy link address and then paste it here. But you can also download the file yourself and then upload it using the select files button too. So once you've uploaded it, restart the server. Then once your server has restarted, you can start using the plugin. So if you go to the console, and then if you go to the Pocket Releases pages, which I will link in the description down below, along with the Sheep plugin link, you can now choose any plugin that you want to install. It is also worth noting, for the Sheep plugin, if you have any trouble installing it, our support would be more than happy to do it for you if you have a premium server. So feel free to contact them here, just say you want Sheep installing, and they'll happily do that for you to save you the hassle in case you're on a mobile device which is a bit more difficult to install plugins on. Now let's get back to this. So feel free to choose any plugin that you want. I'm going to choose Time Stopper for this example. So if you just click on the plugin and then you'll need to type the exact plugin name how it is displayed there. So if we go back to the console, you need to type install space and then the plugin name. So Time Stopper. As you can see, I've copied the T and S both in capital letters because that is how it is displayed there. If it doesn't have capital letters, don't put capital letters. It is important to copy it exactly as it is. And then once you've done that, you can put the version number. So in this case, it could be 1.0.3 or an older one. Um, but if you just leave it blank, it will install the latest version. So that is fine to do too. So if you just do that and then click enter, it will install the plugin and as you can see it's loading the plugin now now once you've done this you will need to restart the server to install the plugin fully so as you can see the server has just restarted and time stopper was loaded without any errors at all if you did get any errors with any plugins again make sure you contact our support there will be a link in the description down below now let's say we want to uninstall a plugin you would simply just type uninstall and then the plugin name and then the version number if you add a specific version again. And then as you can see, it says that the plugin will be removed at the next server restart. So you would just restart the server to fully remove it. So as you can see, I've just installed the older version of TimeSopper 1.0.2. So I'm going to restart the server and then I'm going to show you the update feature. So as you can see, it says it could not load the plugin TimeSopper. So I'm simply going to run update TimeSopper. And as you can see, it successfully downloaded the update for Time Stopper as the latest version is 1.0.3 and I installed 1.0.2. So if I restart the server, you should see it should no longer display an error. And as you can see, that's worked perfectly. So that's fantastic. So there are the main commands for the plugin. So if we just go to the file manager and if we go to the plugins folder, you can see that the timestopper.far file is there. So it did install it without any issues. And if we go back to the home folder, then plugin data, and then if we click on Sheep, we can take a look at the configuration file here. So it does have a few settings. So the restart one being the main one. So when you install a plugin, you need to restart the server afterwards for the plugin to load correctly. So at the moment, you have to do this manually. But you, if you set this to true, you can do it so that when you run an install command, it does this automatically after a certain amount of time. So you can set the, the delay here. So it's currently set to 2 minutes or 120 seconds. So if you wanted to change it to... Um, I don't know 60 seconds you would just change it like that and then it would restart the server after 60 seconds And then as you can see here It's got warnings that display in chat for when the server is about to restart after installing a plugin And there are some other messages that you can change up here too with the updater and so on So they're the main settings for the sheep plugin So once you've changed any click save and then restart the server to apply the changes 
And then when you install any other plugins on the server, the plugin data will be in this folder and you'll see they appear here like the time stopper one as so. So that's how you use a sheet plugin. It's a really helpful plugin and I hope it helps you install plugins if you don't have access to a computer easily. If you have any issues with that at all, feel free to contact our support and I'll be more than happy to help you or feel free to post on this page and I'm sure they'll be more happy to help you too. There will again be a link to our contact page in the description down below and all of the relevant links for the plugins too. Now thank you for watching, I hope that you have a fantastic day and goodbye.